Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to grow Ohia Lua um, from seed, which is a native Hawaiian tree, which used to be the um, tree, uh, the dominant canopy tree in Hawaii, and it grows in a variety of um, places. It grows uh, in lowland forest, in upland forest, it grows especially on like recent volcanic flows, it's the first thing to colonize it. And uh, this will also work for a lot of trees in the Myrtaceae because they have uh, a lot of similar seeds. Um, there's a subfamily in the Myrtaceae that has not fleshy fruits, they have capsular fruits, so this includes eucalyptus and other um, uh, Metrosoides, I think is the genus name for this one, um, which exists in New Zealand, all over the Pacific, Australia, a lot of places, I think even Argentina. Um, so yeah, this will grow for a lot of them are Taceae. So these are five little ones. I lost one, um, but basically first step is to collect your seed. So this is what the seed will look like. They are tiny little each one of those things is one seed so there's a lot in here um, and they will be in little box looking capsule fruits that are about this big um, about a sixth of an inch and they're going to be like four winged so it'll look like a little box and it'll have one hole in the center that's how they get out but before they turn brown you want to grab them and if you have time uh, I didn't have time so I just let them dry for a week, but you can let them dry for a lot longer. So um, I would let them dry for a week to two in a paper bag and then just shake the paper bag a lot. And then they will uh, all come out of the boxes if you need to. I opened the boxes individually because I didn't have that, min that much seed. This will also work for eucalyptus. You can just open the boxes with a knife um, eucalyptus, they're a little bit more circular, I think. And um, then once you sift out all the particles, you will have this, which is just pure seed. There's a few fibers up there, but yeah, pure seed. And because these are so tiny, they don't have a lot of endosperm or energy in them. So they, the spout is gonna be really, really tiny at first, and it'll need a lot of light and a lot of humidity to grow. So these are very delicate seedlings. These are, um, I think, probably like four months old, um, and they're only this big. If you grow it in a greenhouse, they'll be a little bit bigger, but not much. Um, they grow pretty slowly, so it's gonna take a while. But once they get big, they're a lot less finicky. Um, so these are about to be pretty much good to go, and um, they'll be like the size of an actual seedling. But basically, you just sprinkle these on top. No stratification needed because they're tropical. Um, don't cover with any soil at all, um, just on top. And I actually started these in a 100% humidity environment, so I got a little Lexan, a uh, little takeout container would work. Anything that is like a closed plastic thing, and I just put pure perlite in it, a little layer like that big, and I just sprinkled a lot of this seed on here. I sprinkled probably like a quarter of this on there. Um, and then I covered it up so it has a 100% humidity and I put it under a bright light. They need light to germinate. And then once I had them in there for about a month or two, I got a lot of little sprouts and I got these six cell containers. I filled this with very rocky, um, totally sterile mix. So it's a tiny bit of potting soil, a lot of perlite and a lot of vermiculite, um, which they really like. They don't like it. Uh, no clay or anything like that, you must use like good soil for this because they need that water retention. Um, so then after that, I kind of, uh, it, this is an optional step, but I wrapped it in um, plastic wrap to keep the humidity like at 50%, a little bit more, like 80% maybe, um, but that's totally optional uh, just to uh, not shock them too much from going from 100% that little germination container to here. But after you have that, you wanna miss them every day, once or twice a day. So I miss them 
few sprays every single day and just make sure not to kill them at, at all uh, because i have killed a few of them they're so delicate <clears throat> when you water them they can even break their stems um so yeah and then you just gotta wait put them under a really bright light but do not miss a watering i'm telling you do not you can also put them in a little shallow pool of water but they don't really like it drenched um, but they do like it moist um, so it's very finicky but i just water them before i go to bed every night and it works pretty well so they will get big pretty quickly higher the humidity um and the higher the light the faster as long as you keep them wet and then after that uh, once they get about a foot or two um you can reproduce them by cuttings which is much easier but i didn't have access to that um so yeah that's how you grow ohia lua uh metersoides i think is the latin name i might be pronouncing that wrong um and a lot of other myrtaceae trees it's pretty kind of a, definitely not beginner level but they are possible i'm gonna have to start another batch of these because i've already lost half of them um so yeah all right, Robert Grow Native, and have a good one.